Hello guys, I am back. By popular request on my social media, people wanted another unedited vlog. So I figured what a perfect time to do this unedited vlog than in my car on my way home from work. Because that is the only time I can really get any kind of peace and quiet while I'm filming without any kind of distraction. So pay in mind to all the very obnoxious car sounds that you will hear, the heavy breathing, and the mess up of words because I have no control over that whatsoever in this unedited, eh, in this unedited vlog. <laughs> See, usually I would cut that part out in my normal videos, but you know, I, uh, I am not cutting anything out in this video. So you will get all the non-edited things here. Um, so I am on my way home from work, as I already said. They finally, hopefully, switched our schedule for good. What is this guy doing? I swear, people in New Jersey sometimes do not know how to drive. Anyway, so we were coming in at 6 o'clock in the morning and leaving at 3.30 for work. They had us doing that for about maybe like two, three weeks. And as of yesterday, they announced that today and moving forward, we should be going back to our normal schedule of working from 7 o'clock shut up car. You'll hear those noises every now and again and if you hear them that's just my car telling me to make sure I'm paying attention to the road which I am. As you can plainly see I am not looking at the camera. Anyhow we are going to be coming in at our normal time which is from 7 to 3 30 but we have to punch in by 6 30. 6 35 the latest. Now for me, as you already know, and if you don't know, I work about 50 minutes to an hour away from my job. Some days are easier than others to get out of work early, and sometimes they are not. And what I mean by that is my drive home, I usually get stuck in traffic, which is why I said what a perfect time for me to speak with you all because I will be probably stuck in traffic at some point in this drive. I usually am. But sometimes the traffic can be good and it goes by quick and sometimes I get stuck for a good like 10-15 minutes. So today's Friday and I'm hoping I don't hit a lot of traffic. Um, a few things that I wanted to address since my previous vlog that I made. I uh, I should have known the responses I was going to get from that video <laughs> and uh, you know it, it kind of upset me but what was I going to expect because you know I put my business out there to you all and I opened myself up and you know some people would understand my situations and some people don't and you know I have to be mindful of that as I'm putting this out there on the internet for you guys to watch and listen to. Now, I, uh, oh, there my car goes again because I didn't want to hit the bump. But I, um, I just wanted to let you all know that officially Nick and I are back together again. Now, you guys are probably going to say, you literally posted that video a week ago, and you guys are back together in a week? Well, I didn't specify certain details to you guys, because as I said, what's my business with Nick is my business with Nick, and the people who know the situation that we have will understand what he and I have been going through, while others will just assume and have their opinion on things so to those who actually understand the situation and what had happened between the two of us thank you for being so understanding and thank you for having faith in our relationship our relationship is not perfect nobody's is but 
two imperfect people who love each other very much are good for each other. They make each other perfect, you know? And when I met Nick two and a half, I guess, years ago, I never thought I was going to meet anybody that was going to change my life so drastically as he has. And I mean that in the best sense, not in the worst sense. Nick and I have had our fair share of fights. We've had our fair share of disagreements, just like any couple does. And just like any couple on YouTube, you know, you don't get to see all the raw and uncensored things that happen. And well, Nick and I were really going through a lot of things. And again, like I said, I'm not gonna disclose any of that information because that is between him and myself and the people who know what had gone on between the two of us. But what I wanted to say is that Nick and I had broken up around middle or end of July. And I was the one that broke us up. Now, the reason for that, again, I'm not going to get into details about. But the outcome of the breakup was to work on ourselves separately as individuals, as well as working on mending the things that needed to be mended in our relationship in order for us to have a successful future together and a wonderful future together which essentially is what I have and always wanted. So we have been working through that, which is what I did not mention in the other video. And again, I'm sorry that, you know, I didn't mention some things, but again, like I said, I just, I don't wanna to put too much personal information out there on the internet. And I hope you all can understand that. But Nick and I are back together again and Everything has been great, and all the things that we needed to work on, we are working on together and continuing to work on together every day. And now that Nick has moved into my house, basically, I just, you know, I feel like, I feel like I'm finally, I feel like I finally have, I feel like I'm home. I feel like I'm finally home in my home. And what I mean by that is most of my life or most of my life in my late teens to early 20s, I never really felt like I was home in my home. And, you know, I, for about, from 2014 until now, I had been living by myself with my parents. My brother got married at, in 2014, and once he got married, he moved out of the house. My sister got married, I think in like 2004 or 2005, and my sister, she moved out when we moved to Jackson. So, um, we moved to Jackson, and, uh, you know, when we came to Jackson, we've been in Jackson for about almost 17 years now. And, you know, my brother was with me most of the time until he graduated from high school, college, and then he met his wife now, and then they got married, and they moved in together. The rest is history. So, after he left, I just, I felt so alone in my home, and I felt alone even before he left. But now with Nick, in the house with me I feel more home than I ever did and it's been such a nice blissful feeling especially with everything that I've been going through mentally um, another thing I have been seeking help professional help <laughs> since the last time that I posted a video. Well, the, 
good news is I have a good update on that. I found somebody to speak with. I've made an appointment to speak with her online and that will be starting on Tuesday of next week. I, uh, I have, from my job, I found out I have 25 free online sessions to talk with a therapist and you know I'm very happy that I was able to get that benefit from my job so I'm going to try to take advantage of that but also not use it too much so what I mean by that is I'm not going to seek help every single week. I think I'm just going to do it every other week to keep my 25 sessions, you know, length, you know, like to extend the time of my se sessions, meaning I won't blow through them quickly. So I'm going to seek help every other week. I think that will benefit me a lot. I have a lot of things that I need to speak about that, you know, I can't just keep relying on my friends and my family to listen to some of these things, especially since, unfortunately, some of these things that I'm going through are family related. So I just, you know, I need to, I need to seek an outsider's opinion that does not know anything about my life and about what I've gone through and everything because the reality of it is you can't put too many of your problems on your friends yeah it's nice to let them in and let them know what's going on but at the same time you can't constantly keep you know running to your friends with every single problem you have because eventually people do get tired of it and you know I know some people will be like, well, no, I don't get tired of it. That's a lie. I'm sorry. But people do get tired about hearing about problems every single day. Because the negativity and the constant, like, sadness or whatever that person is going through when they vent their problems, it can take a toll on a person. It really can. And, you know, you just... Sometimes it's okay to get help. It is okay to get help. If you need it, it's okay to get it. There's no issue with that. Um, things I'm struggling with, like I said, I have some family things that I have been back and forth with most of my life. And, you know, it just... Sometimes... It weighs on me a lot heavier than others. Some days I'm able to just brush it off. I'm a sensitive person and I'm a very compassionate and caring person. And I like to show the people in my life that. And if people in my life don't contribute what I'm showing them, it hurts me a lot. And I've had that with family and friends most of my life. As I'm sure anybody else has. I also have been struggling a lot with my insecurities. My insecurities being that I feel like ever since I was in my early 20s up until now, I have gained quite a bit of weight. And I'm sure everybody's going to be like, you look fine. What are you talking about? Well, to me, I see that number on the scale and I get I get discouraged a lot. And then I look down at my stomach and I get discouraged by that. And I just, you know, I, I have this zit on my face. Every time I get zits on my face, I get discouraged. I get very overwhelmed and anxiety ridden. And I just fall into this like depressive state where it's like, I feel like I'm not good enough. And I'm not saying, like, not just good enough for people. I feel like I'm not good enough for myself. So I've been working on dieting. I've been watching what I'm eating as far as, like, calories and uh, sodium and how much, how, how much of things I'm putting into my body. 
and oh, sugars too, like not like natural sugars, like unnatural sugars, like not fruits and stuff. So I've been watching that as well. I've been actually working out with Nick for the past probably like two to three weeks. We've been doing at-home workouts together and that's been really nice. I kind of feel like I'm seeing results, but not really. And I know it's going to take time to see results with everything that I'm doing. So I have to keep putting it in my head that the results will show, just give it time, just give it time. When I first started this diet, I was at about 157 pounds. And again, I'm sure some people are going to be like, that's not that bad. That's not bad at all. And to people who are triggered by weight and numbers and everything, please skip ahead in this video if you are, because I don't want to discourage or upset anybody with the things that I'm saying. So please skip ahead if you need if you need to not listen to this or if you feel like this is going to trigger you just please click off this part of the video and skip ahead to the next section where I'm not talking about this so um I uh and I'm not time stamping this either so again you just scroll through and eventually you'll find that I'm not talking about this anymore when I first started this diet, I was at 157 pounds. I was very discouraged because I'm like, oh my God, I'm so close to 160. What the hell? What's going on? Like, so I started dieting and I started exercising. Uh, I've been doing at-home workouts. Like I said, I've also been going for walks with Nick and uh, I've been taking my dog out and we've been going for walks with him. We've been going for walks on our own. It's been, you know, it's been really nice. and. I stepped on the scale today, and as of today, I am at 152 pounds. And that was this morning I weighed myself. I don't know what I am now, but this morning I was at 152 pounds. And I was very happy about that because I feel like all this hard work I've been doing hasn't been for nothing, you know what I mean? So I'm very happy that I'm slowly starting to see results. It took some time, but I'm, I'm slowly seeing the results I want to see. My goal is to, you know, obviously I'm going to be going to a wedding in October, at the end of October, and I would like to at least be at 140 pounds by then. I don't know if I can achieve it, but I'm going to try. And even if I get to 145, I would be happy with that too. So... You know, my goal is to get to 140 by the end of October. If I don't, I'm happy with 145 too. So, I, um, you know, I want to weigh less by the wedding. But at the same time, after the wedding, I want to keep up with this too. Because I don't want to lose track of all this good hard work that I'm putting in. So, hopefully, I continue to keep up with my good habits and I don't let my depression from time to time affect me and put me in a state of I don't want to do anything all oh, this isn't worth it all oh, this and that so I also had been doing like um Vicks vapor rub with plastic wrap and a waist trainer on my stomach for about a week I was doing that and I was seeing results with it actually, so I would like to try to at least do it once again to try and um, help myself. But now with Nick living with me, it's gonna be a bit hard because Nick is like a heater and he gives off way too much heat. And sometimes I have a very hard time sleeping next to him because he's just so hot and I just get sweaty and it's like, ah, I don't wanna be sweaty while I'm sleeping and uh, you know so I think on my days where I have my monthly I might try to do that because you know I know this is gonna be too too much information for some of you folks but I sleep in the nude and obviously Nick does too uh, we've been you know 
we're together, so obviously we're going to sleep in the nude. I do not intend on sleeping in clothes around my significant other, you know what I mean? But during my monthly, I do wear clothes because, well, I wear underwear, but you know, I wear underwear because I'm not planning on getting my sheets covered in blood. Just saying. So, on those days where I have my monthly, maybe I will do that to try to see. Even though I was told that apparently it's not good to do that. And I'm like, well, if it's not good to do that, why do women wear waist trainers to try to train their waist? That's not good either. So, you know, me doing this waist trainer thing every once in a while I don't think it's going to have any effect on me now if I consistently kept doing it that's a different story but I'm not consistently doing it so therefore I don't think anything is going to happen from it but I do want to look into getting these uh, flat stomach wraps that I had a while back that helped me a little bit I want to try to get those again because I think that'll help me out a lot too so maybe I'll try to look into that again as well, just so that I'm not doing this waist trainer thing and, you know, disrupting the organs in my body. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to say that thank you guys for all the love and support in my last video. I had a lot of people reaching out, asking if I was okay, wishing Nick and I well hoping for the best for us and hoping that we continue to be strong together and work on things together and I want to thank everybody who reached out and said that to me I really appreciate it and we have been doing better we have been working on things we've been doing really well so that's you know I couldn't be happier with that I've been a lot happier as of recently my in my last video that I made, I was not happy at all. And I had been on and off with, you know, my happiness and everything because of everything I had been going through. But lately, I've been feeling a lot better. And, you know, I'm, I'm hoping you guys are happy with that too. Uh, another thing that Nick's therapist had spoken with me about in our last session which I don't know if I mentioned this in my previous video is that she's saying I'm relying too much on my friends to be my support and she's saying that I need to take a step back from certain situations with certain people to try to just either let them come to me or let things be has be how they are so I'm going to try to do that because as I said in my last video, I've been figuring out who my real friends are in certain situations and who I can and can't trust. And you know, that's been playing a part everywhere I go, like in my life outside of work and my life in work. And it's just, you know, I'm learning to just let things be how they are and just you know keep to myself focus on myself my happiness my well-being and the people in my life that matter to me and that's it so I've been trying to focus on that a lot more and I feel like that's been doing really well for me honestly it's taking some time but you know I do see progress I do see things are getting better but, um, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and update you guys and let you know how I've been feeling, what's been going on this past week. I really didn't do much last weekend. I, uh, Nick and I just hung out at home and we got food once or twice and that was really about it. We didn't really do much except for, like, talk about expenses and financial things and working on a game plan for things that we have going on with us in our lives and all that so we really didn't do much last weekend but this weekend this weekend we are going to see my favorite band motionless in white tomorrow and i am so excited 
We are also going to be hanging out with uh, Nick's best friend. We're going to hang out with him for some time before the concert, so I'm very excited. I might vlog it. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to because I don't want to get copyrighted. So I don't know if I'll be able to record the concert, but I'll try to take pictures from the concert and maybe insert some clips or whatever, you know, or just check out my social media. If you're not already following me, beautiful disaster nine. I, I put it in the link in every one of my videos. So be sure to check me out on there because I will probably be posting stuff from the concert there because I don't want to get copyrighted over here. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like I said, a lot of good things are coming up from this. Uh, I might actually film a regular video come tomorrow. I might film maybe like a get ready with me video because I want to actually look nice for the concert. So maybe you'll see that next week. I don't know. Uh, I have been in more of a better mood to want to film a video. So like I said, you guys might be seeing more videos of me again. Edited videos, not unedited like this, unless you guys like me doing this. If you like me doing this, maybe I'll keep doing it. I don't know. We'll see. But, um, as far as the, uh, as far as videos coming up, maybe you'll get a video next week. A, a nice edited video of things. I have a few ideas that I want to put out there on YouTube and, um, you know, I want to try to put stuff out there for you all to see. I have, um, I'm going to be going on vacation in two weeks with Nick and my girlfriend and her now fiance. We're going to be going away to Portland, Maine. So I think maybe I'll film like a what's in my travel bag for that. If you guys want to see that, maybe I'll do it. And, uh, yeah, I don't think I have anything else for you guys. I don't have anything else to say, so I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and stay safe, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video, hopefully a regular scheduled video and not a unedited vlog, but you know, until next time, bye guys! Mwah.